Welcome back to Team O'Neill. I'm Wyatt. For this episode of Will It Rally, we're going to be driving a second generation Toyota Tacoma pickup truck. Mid-size pickup trucks in general are marketed as true do-it-all platforms and the Toyota Tacoma, by the numbers at least, dominates the category. We're here today to find out though the only question that really matters, will it rally? Welcome to Will It Rally, the new series from the Team O'Neill Rally School. Join us as we find the limits of different vehicles on our wide open skid pad and slalom courses before racing against the stopwatch on a technical rally stage. All right, so the second generation Toyota Tacoma. These were made between 2005 and 2015 with a minor facelift towards the end. This one is a double cab six cylinder with a six speed manual transmission and the TRD off-road package. So first impressions, just driving around a little bit. 236 horsepower is plenty in a little truck like this. The six speed manual, pretty great. And the one nice thing about this truck that not everybody knows is that they're made in America. The TRD off-road comes with an off-road tuned suspension with the Bilstein shocks. We've got a push button locking rear differential. It came with 16 inch alloy wheels and BFG tires. There's a nice skid plate under the engine if you do bottom out. There's an upgraded tow hook on the front for when you do get stuck. There's a normal AC power outlet in the bed. Little fog lights in the front bumper, which actually work pretty well. It's got nice supportive sport seats. There's a backup camera. There, this one's got a six disc CD changer in the dash. The other nice option that this one does have on it is the tow package, which isn't just the receiver hitch in the back, it also comes with a heavy duty battery, an uprated alternator. You've got an additional oil cooler for the engine and an additional transmission fluid cooler, which is just nice if you're a little hard on vehicles to know that some of that stuff is there. One of the other cool things about this truck specifically, when these trucks started getting exposed to the road salt and rusting faster than consumers would have liked, Toyota came back on these with a frame inspection and replacement program. They'd throw it on the lift and check it out, and if it failed because of rust, they would replace the entire frame on your truck, which is what happened to this one. So we're looking at 163,000 miles almost on this truck. There's a brand new frame underneath it. The other nice thing about that is when they're in there, if there's anything else that's rusty to the point of being either dangerous or just unserviceable when they had to replace the frame, they'd replace that. So not only is there a brand new frame in this truck, there's brand new brake lines, there's a brand new fuel tank, the leaf springs are brand new, the exhaust has had repairs done to it, the control arms in the front are brand new. There's a ton of stuff underneath this truck that got switched out and essentially it's a really nice truck that would last somebody a really long time. It's really nice that it's got a traction control off button and a stability control off button easily accessible. We do have those manually shut off in this car uh, via removal of fuses and we do have the ABS off in this vehicle as well. Anybody who follows along with our antics up here or does any high performance driving is going to know that pulling that ABS fuse is going to give you a lot better performance on different surfaces. And that's definitely the case with this one. With the ABS pulled, I can stop really nice and quick. The clutch start cancel button is a really nice feature for different off-road driving situations. The diff lock works great only when you're in low range. And they've just laid everything out nicely. You'll be in here for two minutes and you'll already know instinctively where everything is, how to turn stuff on and off. You'll be switching the heat and bopping your switches and stuff like you've lived in this thing your whole life. They're really easy to drive. So that's hopefully our base is covered as far as the features on this vehicle. If there's anything specific you're really curious about, you know, final drive ratios or brake caliper sizes or any of that stuff, I'm sure you can find it in a two second Google search. What we're gonna do is a quick acceleration test just to see how it goes, a quick braking test, cause that's equally important, some handling tests, and then a hot lap around here on our little loop at the rally school. So zero to 60, I'm in two wheel drive, I've got the six speed, everything's turned off. Three, two, one, go. First gear's real low. I shifted at 20 miles an hour. I'm 30, 40, 50, 60. Pretty quick, pretty quick. Light little truck. 
The rear wheels do hop a little. You've probably felt that kind of axle hop and leaf sprung vehicles in the back. It's a little more common, uh, especially on a bumpy road. So let's give that a try again in four wheel drive, see if there's any difference. Four wheel drives engaged, light on the dash. Three, two, one, go. Yep, hooks up right off the get go. No wheel spin at all. I can be full throttle, which is nice. That's 60. I think it's quicker in four wheel drive. So zero to 60 went by pretty quick. Let's see what happens 60 to zero. Third gear, nice. 60 miles an hour, stop. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So as far as handling, I'm back in two wheel drive. This thing will spin the rear tires basically whenever you want it to on gravel like this, but it does get a lot of that wheel hop. Uh, so it's a trade off, you know, it feels quick in two wheel drive. You can slide it around nice and easily. It's pretty balanced. The one thing I would say with this truck is the tires are really letting it down. In a truck like this where you've got five or six inches of tire between the wheel and the road that's compressing and rebounding at weird rates because it's kind of a soft balloony weird tire, that's going to make it feel like your suspension is garbage. In four wheel drive, a lot of those troubles go away when you accelerate. It basically just plants and goes straight, which is really nice. It's pretty powerful. I'm in third and fourth gear a lot more than I thought I'd be because of the closer ratio six speed transmission. It's very easy to get this truck to rotate under braking. Again, we've pulled the ABS fuse and all of that stuff in four wheel drive, a little bit of left foot brake coming into corners and you can get the back end to slide around just nice and predictable. It's a little light in the back end, which makes it kind of playful and fun, uh, but the double cab and there's a spare tire and a trailer hitch and there's some weight in the back. It's pretty well balanced for a pickup truck, really. It's not so light that it's just skittering around all over the place like many pickup trucks do. Really not much else to say about it. It does what you tell it to do every single time. It's really nice and consistent. Going into this haul up, I'm definitely gonna run it in four wheel drive. The tires worry me a little bit. I'm gonna actually inflate them a little bit more than they are now, just to see if I can get rid of some of that sponginess, sort of suspension tuning by air pressure, if you think of it that way. So I'm gonna crank them up there at 32 now, I'm gonna crank them up to 35 or six. Other than that, pretty confident going into the time lap. We're gonna go for a nice four wheel drive, drama free run. I'll just try and restrain my inner child from sliding around too much. Keep it clean, don't bump into anything, and try not to tip it over. All right, so nothing left to do but take it around here for our hot lap on the stopwatch. We don't have much to compare this to in the summertime except for the Dodge Charger police car. Uh, we're going to be running this in four high, and probably most of it's going to be third gear, a little bit of top of second, might touch fourth gear, not really sure, coming down the hill. We'll figure it out when we get there. Basically, three, two, one, go. Into second, nice and quick. Close ratio, into third, quick. Little left foot brake. Keeping that suspension settled. Using that weight transfer to get some rotation. Coming around here, this one tightens up. Touch of the brake. Back to throttle, I almost wanted second there, but I wasn't gonna do it. I am gonna do it up here. Brake with the right foot, get it turned in. Down into second gear, look for the exit. A little bit of left foot brake, slightly sloppy there. We'll take it, up and over, third gear. Smooth over this, tires off the ground, into this medium right, into a hard left. Let's focus on just keeping some momentum not getting too sideways in the pickup truck. Don't want to get a flat tire. Don't want to snap roll this thing coming around the corner. These tires really are pretty bald. Coming around this. Once you get some rotation, it, the road truck rotates nice and easily, um, but you don't have a lot of grip when it happens. Top of third gear, that's okay. Not enough time to need four. Up this hill. Oh, I almost ended up on a reverse. That would have been a costly mistake. Reverse is hard left and up like a lot of six speeds. I was a little ham fisted with the shifter and almost ended up under reverse in no man's land. Bouncy. A lot of that's these balloony tires. You know, the suspension in this is actually really good. A little bit of drag, a little brake. Not too Hollywood down the hill with some speed. 
Yeah, stiff suspension with balloony kind of all season-y tires isn't wonderful. Coming down the hill, here we go. Third gear, where's my stopwatch? Safety first, coming down. Where are we? Here's my gate and stop. 202.94. All right, so we came out here today to see if the Gen 2 Toyota Tacoma will rally. No surprise to anybody, absolutely it will. What might be a surprise was the time that it did around our little loop out here. On a very similar surface to what we ran the Dodge Charger cop car on just a few weeks ago, we did it in a 202.94 in the Tacoma. If we wanted to take a few more seconds off of that time with this truck right here, the first thing we'd want to look at is these tires. For what we're doing right now, it's great entertainment, but certainly if this were your vehicle and you were looking to get some more performance out of it, tires are always your starting point for that. And these, there's a lot of room for improvement. The next thing you could look at if you wanted to do a quick lap around here is just getting rid of some of the easy weight. You know, there's a spare tire underneath, there's a tow hitch we're not using. Uh, you could lose 100 pounds in about 20 minutes, but in the spirit of the show, uh, you know, street legal vehicle, we just took it out and did a lap just to see what it would do. So thanks for joining us on this little adventure here today. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the little bell icon so you're notified when new videos pop up. If you're interested in coming up and doing some driving yourself, check out teamoneal.com. We've got driving courses of all different kinds all around the year up here in New Hampshire. Be safe, have fun, and we'll catch you next time. you are rolling we're here to look at today all right so we're here today to ask the question will it rally these mid-size the mid-size pickup truck if you had one of these and you wanted to shave a few seconds off it make it a little bit of ease is gonna perform Give me a second. Yep. I want to change it for the sake of the. If you're interested in coming out and doing some driving yourself, uh, if you're interested in coming out and doing you, damn it. Let cool. me do. Let me keep going for a second. Um, good enough. Cool. I think that's it. All right. No, I think you can kill it. I just have to do a different version. Yeah, kill it. Okay.